Well, hey there, Christ Community family. I wanted to pop in and just give you a quick recap of our annual meeting from November 13th. Uh, obviously, a number of people weren't able to be there for one reason or another, but for whatever reason you couldn't come, uh, I wanted to make sure that you stayed informed about what was going on here at Christ Community uh, and what we discussed at that meeting. So first two items, the only two things that we really voted on were the budget and uh, the council members. Now, if you're a member of the church, you should have gotten the budget in your email. Um, if you need a copy of the budget for 2023, we'd be happy to send you one. Just email Mindy at office at ChristCommunityDenver.org, and we'll be able to email you a copy of the budget so you know exactly what was passed. But the budget was passed as is. So whatever numbers you see, if you got a budget, that's what passed. Um, and you'll see that we are in the red for next year. Now that was all covered by Judy and Cheryl and Mindy, who did a great job of walking us through the budget and seeing what was going on. Uh, the one major thing with the budget that we want to reiterate um, that you may see in that budget that you got is that we're not really budgeting much for ministry outside of the church next year. Um, we're already running really tight. We're already running in the red. And so what we decided as a council when we discussed this was when it comes to outside ministry, to service projects or different things we're going to be doing, um, we're just going to come to the congregation and, and believe uh, in your faithfulness in giving and uh, have faith that God is going to provide for the things that we need um, as they come up for ministries outside of the church. So most of the budget it really is about maintaining our building and our property um, and paying our staff. Those are the two major things. There's some in there for Samaritan distributions, but other than that, um, there's really not much in there. Uh, and so you can take a look at that. We'd be happy to answer any specific questions you have. Again, you can email those to Mindy at office at ChristCommunityDenver.org, um, or you can give us a call and we can answer whatever questions you might have about the budget as it stands. The other thing that passed was we proposed that the council members that are on this year just continue to serve because as we're in this denominational transition, moving from the Reformed Church in America to the Evangelical Covenant Church, our structure as a church is going to change and our leadership is going to change. And so we propose that the current members, even those who would normally be rolling off the council, just continue to serve until the new leadership team is chosen. That will happen in the spring. And so by middle of next year, the current council will be rolling off and then only those who are continuing on to the new leadership team will stay. Uh, so that did also pass unanimously. Everybody voted to, to go ahead with that plan. So that's what we're doing with our current council as we move into the future. Now, the bulk of the annual meeting was taken up with reports. Ashley delivered a report on children's ministry and just noted the incredible growth in children. We have seen the number of kids and families who are coming and engaged with the church um, and the spiritual growth that we're seeing in those kids as they continue to engage. Mindy gave an update on just the different events and different things that we've been able to do over the past year. And it really is remarkable for a church of our size with our resources, the amount of things uh, we were able to do this past year. And so it's really incredible. We give God all the thanks and all the glory, and uh, we give you thanks for your faithfulness in giving and serving that allow us to be so engaged with our community. And then the the biggest chunk of the meeting was taken up with my report as the pastor. Obviously, we're in this transition from one denomination to another, and that means a lot of things. Um, and so if you really want to see the nitty gritty of what I shared, you can go to our website, ChristCommunityDenver.org, and click on the Vision 2023 button in the top right of the screen. Right up there, there's a button that will take you right to the page that lays out everything that I shared at our annual meeting. Um, and so you don't have to listen to me go through it all again. You can just go there and read. I will be recording a video where I walk us through all of those things for those who'd rather not read the long uh, web page that's there. Um, but that's that was really the bulk of it, was my report on the changes that are going to be happening as we transition denominations. Um, we are also changing the structure of our church, the leadership structure, which also means reevaluating everything that we do as a church 
to find out, is this really effective? Is what we're doing closely tied to our mission? Is it driving discipleship to Jesus and formation into Jesus? Um, Or is it something that we're just doing because we've been doing it for a long time? So all of that's going to be coming up. The most important thing you need to know about that uh, portion of the annual meeting is that beginning in the new year, we will have a monthly evening meetings, one meeting a month in on an evening you'll you'll find out what day it will be as we decide um, but monthly we'll have one nightly meeting where the core group that is committed to the future of the church that is committed through this transition um, will Uh, be discussing the future of the church. We'll be talking about what ministry teams we need, what are our priorities, what are not. And then we'll be doing a lot of training about how to get our people uh, trained up so that they can take on the ministries of the church. For instance, we've got, we need a children's ministry, obviously. We need a hospitality ministry to welcome people and to care for people. Uh, We need a tech team. We obviously need a worship team. And so these evenings we'll get together and we'll do some some 30,000 foot stuff. And then we'll be able to break off into the teams to do some really hands-on training for all of these different ministry teams. And so we'll be asking everybody who is committed to the future of the church uh, to join one of these ministry teams and to serve. And here's my hope. My hope is that this core team would not just be made up of the energetic young people in the church. Okay, We need everyone involved and engaged. We need everyone serving in this church. If we're going to have a future as this church in this location, we need everyone on board and we need a diverse group, not only ethnically and culturally and in terms of backgrounds, we need an age diverse group. We need a generationally diverse group because we need the wisdom and the understanding that comes with age on this team. It can't just be the young folks leading it. And so I'm hoping that you, no matter what stage of life you're in, will get excited about the future of this church. And then finally, the the last thing, the the big reveal um, at the end of my report was the new name and branding. As I mentioned some weeks ago on a Sunday, there's already a Christ Community Church in the Evangelical Covenant Church in the Denver area, and we didn't want to... Uh, we didn't want to disrespect or step on toes. We're the new kids coming in. And so uh, we felt like we needed to change the name. Uh, and also this, this name change represents the new volume uh, in the history of Christ Community Church. If you know anything about the history of Christ Community Church, you know that it didn't begin as Christ Community. It began as Southridge Community. And then when they sh- moved locations, changed the name. Um, and now we feel like this transition to a new denomination is, is equal to that physical location change. And so it's appropriate now. And so going forward, uh, once we file our new constitution and bylaws, and once we kind of relaunch this church next year, we will be Hillside Community Church. That'll be our legal name. In much of our branding and things, we'll just be Hillside Church um, because I anticipate most people just saying, hey, I go to Hillside. Um, And so we're asking you, if you're committed to the future of Hillside Church or Hillside Community Church, that you would commit to be at those uh, monthly evening meetings. We have a commitment card here at the church. So when you come uh, and you attend on a Sunday morning, you can grab one of those commitment cards. You can sign it and drop it in uh, the uh, box that's at the back of the sanctuary. And so we, we invite you to come and be committed to the future of Hillside Community Church, the future of Christ Community as we become Hillside Community Church. I'm excited about this transition. I'm excited about the future for our church. I'm excited about what God is going to do, what he's already been doing, and what God has set before us as we move forward. I think we have an incredible opportunity in the world in which we live to be a brilliant beacon for Jesus Christ right here in the Hamden neighborhood and in Southeast Denver, reaching into Aurora, reaching down into Centennial, reaching into Greenwood Village. I think we are are positioned, uh, we're positioned physically, culturally, we're positioned as a church, as a gospel-centered church, to really reach and care for and love our community with the good news of Jesus. And, And my hope is that you'll get excited about that potential too. As you see the vision as it's laid out on that page, as you see it laid out later, as you see the energy of the people coming in and serving, uh, that you too will get energized and the Holy Spirit will be working in you 
and excitement for the gospel of Jesus that maybe you haven't known in a long time, maybe you've never known, or maybe it's where you've been living and you've just been waiting for this kind of opportunity. So wherever you happen to be, uh, my prayer is that the Holy Spirit would energize you to join the mission, join the movement, uh, and as we press forward into the gospel for our community. So thanks so much for hanging in there through this quick update of our annual meeting. Remember, ChristCommunityDenver.org. Click on that Vision 2023 button to lay it all out. And I'll be recording a video that will walk us through all of the elements of that vision very shortly and adding it to that page so you can see visually kind of what I'm talking about there. But for now, go read that page, see if you're on board, um, and then I invite you next time you're here on Sunday morning at 9.30 to sign that commitment card, come and join us, and be part of what God is doing in the future.